Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? It's your boy, A, bringing you this modern deck tech and gameplay. So today we're going to be talking about the mirror meal. Let's get it. Cute transition. Yeah. All right, I'm very excited to bring you this Demir Mill. Um, I've been using this, I've used this on stream, scheduled right there, if you wanna join me. However, we didn't see so much success with the deck, but I really, really love this archetype, right? Um, as I said on my previous video, this is one of the ways you can win in Magic. One of the things is that you can mill or, or run your opponent out of cards in their library, and this is how you do it. You put, make them put their cards into their graveyard. <laughs> And that being said, no color can do it any better than Demir. It is black and blue. All right. Which brings me to this deck right now. Our theme here is that we're trying to explore decks with Zendikar Rising cards. And one of the key cards here are Crabs. Crabs. Here we go. Um, Ruin Crab, which is the new Zendikar card. But I want to talk about their predecessor, which is Hedron Crab. As you guys know, Hedron Crab is a 1 to cast 0 to Crab feature. And it has landfall mechanic, wherein if you play a land, there is going to be a triggered ability. The triggered ability is you put the top 3 cards of uh, a library of the target player into the graveyard. That's it, right? Stark difference between... Ruin Crab. Ruin Crab is still one to cast zero three. Thicker and better, there dare I say, because it doesn't need to target a player. It only needs to it mills opponents. That means all opponents. If you have multiple opponents, that means you mill all of those opponents. Top three cards, right? Now having eight crabs has more consistency with this specific gameplay. That's why I wanna play this art type. And now um, the rest of the deck is basically the same with one difference. Maddening Cacophony replaced the Glimpse the Unthinkable. Glimpse the Unthinkable is running about $15 US, TCG mid. Uh, Maddening Cacophony is very cheap. Pick it up right now. The stark difference is that the other one is the mirror color, black and uh, blue, uh, with the ability to mill top 10 cards of your opponent's library or target player's library. Maddening Cacophony says opponents, so you don't have to target them. And However, it just runs 8 with the upside of uh, kicker plus four casting cost and it becomes a traumatize right traumatize basically says um target a player uh, or well for this instance opponent you don't have to target right each opponent halves their library rounded up and puts those cards into the graveyard the rest of the deck is pretty straightforward you have surgical extraction to remove the opponent's uh, threats uh, when it gets milled especially useful against um tron decks and we have Fatal Push to remove uh, early threats, Cling to Dust to remove those pesky Uros, Eliminate to remove again creatures, and Drown in the Lock, the most versatile card in this deck, being it being a, it being a either a counter spell or a creature removal, easy to turn on with our mechanics. And we have Visions of Beyond, which is just to throw our cards. Easy, right? Archive Trap, again, and this is a mill deck so we have to have that that uh, boom card this is one of those boom cards transitioning to that let's go into our sideboard we are running lurus uh, of the dream den and that's because we wanted to have an alternate win con the alternate win con is uh, this basically you can recur your uh, hedron crab because most probably they're going to target those crabs and also if you have removed all of the opponent's threats on the board or in the library you can just put lurus and then swing for the win Rarely happening, but could happen. <laughs> All right, uh, Ether Gust because there's a lot of like um, what you call this uh, red deck wins in, in the format currently. Echoing Truth to remove those pesky enchantments. You have your Crypt Incursion to buy you time whenever you're face facing against um, super stumpy opponents. Um, uh, Extirpate to remove those uh, cards that have graveyard recursion. Um, Uros or Kozilek Butcher of Truth and um, Gaia's Blessing, wherein it becomes mailed, you cycle or like shuffle back your library, opponent's library. So, very useful. Ensnaring Bridge again, this is going to be like a sneaky, sneaky uh, version of us trying to sneak a win. They're not going to expect an Ensnaring Bridge, and we put it there, bam, they don't have a um, artifact removal, we win. And Mystical Dispute, just to make sure that our uh, spells resolve. All right. That being said, let's transition to the gameplay. Island. We have a Hedron Crab. Get an island. Cast that crab. And then Mesmeric Orb. Okay. 
That's one. Are they going to bolt the crab? Okay, they bolted the crab. That's fine. We're going to mesmeric orb. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's an archive trap and a vista. I'm putting in a dark sleep shores. Cast another orb. Okay, that's one. That's two. Are they remanding this? Down in the law. That's fine. So they were too able to counter our our prismatic orb. Where are my crabs? Crabu! Okay. Land and a crab. Okay. Play this land. Smeric orb. Cling to dust. Eight plus six. I need them to tap out one more time. I'll take this four. Petal push. Call against command. No problem. Eighteen. Ooh, we have a crab, guys. Orb. Okay, borrower. No pen. Only have twenty-five in their library. Okay. Take down to ten. Visions from beyond. Sure, they're trying to. Okay, they found one. Super bad. Oof, okay. Should have waited during my turn, right? Let's take that. Taking. Down to seven. Cling to dust your cryptic command. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to mill eight. We have eliminate. Okay. Pass my turn. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. They're going to deck in the command. That's fine. So they have a Colligan's command on hand. Sure. And a Hedron Crab. Hedron Crab. Hedron crab. Sure. This you. Thoughts scour me. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Crab. Land. So five cards remaining. Anything? Snapcaster image. Think the dust cure snapcaster image. Done. Yep. <laughs> yes, we're winning, guys. We're winning. <laughs> can't believe it. You can't believe it. <laughs> All right, our opponent is four cards remaining, and we have three crap. One man wins the game. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Okay. Snapcaster Bolt. But what I would just do is gain three life. I need a land. Oh. Visions of Beyond. <laughs> Come on, baby. I don't think we'll need any tweaks. 
think the thing worked just fine. Just fine. So you're playing a trend for scalding thorns. But this trend, the nine yards. Let's go like this. No crabs, but we're going to keep. Okay, let's tap. Go. Right, okay. Stoneforge mistakes. They'll be searching a eh? choose not to use. Ooh. Twice. Watery grave. Tap. Okay. And cast an early orb. Okay. Oops. Oops. I ah, should have. Oh no, please don't cast a Healy. Oh, shut Should have stopped the, the thing. Okay. Stop on the opponent's turn. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, why not? Surgical leathery man, uh, or is it Teferi? Look at Teferi. Let me see your hand. Okay, he doesn't have the combo, he has the sword of feast and famine. We're down to 15. Hopefully, we still survive. We have a sword of feast. Okay, let me search another one. Put that equipped, sure. I'll discard of this stuff. Okay, no. Exile the tokens, sure. Okay. That was wrong. <laughs> okay, there's another one. Sure. Okay, leaving my opponent, sure. Discard this card. Exile the token. Cling. Surgical. Okay. best play here is to drown in the lock yep take that sure then six cards okay ruin crab I will then think to dust the Beledar Guardian ship. Done. Beledar Guardian ship. Game three. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, so good. <laughs> All right, so. What did we learn? The deck is super fun. I super like it. Um, I think I just need to refine it a bit further for those that I need to hate. Like the Gaius Blessing and the uh, those recursion type of effects. Right? Cool. Alright, that's it guys. If you have enjoyed, please check out all these other videos. I'm doing a lot of deck decks here and there. And as always, stay safe.